It's Jeremiah Taylor with the Taylor team here at Movoto Real Estate. And today, I wanna to answer a question that we're hearing from so many of you, which is, when are we going to see a housing price correction? I think it's an interesting question, given the state of the world and what we're seeing in the media. Now, the most interesting thing is, if you read the media headline, what the headline says is, Housing prices are stalling, housing prices are falling, housing price correction is imminent, housing prices are cooling off, the house, housing market is cooling. What you don't hear is housing prices are declining, housing, housing is becoming more affordable. Those things aren't happening. And in fact, when you look at what the experts say, none of the experts are predicting that housing prices are actually going to come down. What they're saying is that they expect the rate of appreciation to slow. Now, what we see is historically, real estate or residential real estate has appreciated at about 4% year over year over year. Now, in the run-up to 2008 and the housing crisis, what we saw was strong double-digit appreciation for multiple years that had a lot of underlying problems with the mortgage debt associated with that appreciation. Well, when the rubber met the road on that mortgage debt, we were into what was called a housing-led economic crisis. And housing is what caused the economic crisis. And so we saw about a 20% pullback in house prices um, broadly across the country during the economic crisis of 2008. Where we are today in 2022 is a much different world. Now, granted, we've seen strong double-digit price appreciation over the last two years, but that's been driven by stimulus money and additional liquidity and a very strong, historically strong jobs market, not by these manufactured loans. And so what that means is there is nothing that says housing prices are going to collapse or come back down. And if in the worst housing crisis that we've seen, uh, they came down by 20 percent, um, by no means will we see that or more again anytime in the near future. In fact, what most experts are predicting is, you know, last year we saw roughly 15 to 16% housing price appreciation. Most experts are revising that forecast down to between four and 7% over the next year. Now, kind of the, the compounding factor here is that interest rates have risen dramatically in the first half of this year, uh, which means that it's kind of been a double whammy for affordability. So as a buyer thinking about getting into this market, it's tough when you see not only has the house price gone up by 20% year over year, but also the interest rates have gone from three to 6% year over year. The good news is we've had a bit of a softening in interest rates here during the summer. And as we see inflation start to taper into the winter months, assuming the Fed, the Fed can get inflation under control, we should see interest rates soften a little bit. And so, I'll coin a phrase, one of my favorite phrases that I, that I see online is, uh, marry the house but date the rate. And what that means is, we're starting to see more inventory come to market in the summer months, which is a great thing if you're a buyer, that house you've been looking for may become a, a, a little more available, you're gonna have more options in what you see. Now you may not love the interest rate that you're at today or that you're able to lock in at today, but it's reasonable to believe that in the future, those rates could come back down and you could get the house that you want today and then in the future refinance into that rate to get the payment down to where you would prefer it. So it's a good opportunity in today's market to enter the market. You know, like we always say, the best time to buy a home was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. With a long enough time horizon, it's reasonable to expect that your home will be worth more in the future than what you pay today. Even if we did have a downturn, those who bought in 2006, seven and eight, today they have tons of equity because the housing market eventually corrects, real estate is scarce, nobody's printing more of it, and uh, it naturally goes up in value. So hopefully this was insightful. If you have more questions, reach out to the team. Thanks so much. It's Jeremiah Taylor here at the Taylor team at Movoto Real Estate.